Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And like, can y'all tell that it's like fall time? Like, oh my gosh, the most wonderful time of the year. I don't even know how it goes. But anyway, how about this one? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. This is my favorite time of the year, you guys, seriously. So anyway, as you can see, I'm all fall appropriate, but that is not what this video is about. I'm just super excited. And if y'all follow me on Snapchat, then y'all know I had a whole lot of coffee and it's nighttime and nighttime coffee seeky. I don't know. Anyway, I'm coming to you guys with this video about these new Mac scents. Let me show y'all. And I gotta be careful because last time I tried to do a thumbnail, y'all, I'm just being all the way real and I totally dropped it. So um, yeah, these are the new Mac shade scents, y'all. And like when I got this package in the mail, I was like, say what? Thank you. Look it, this is what they sent. This is the little pamphlet that came in the mail. I totally should have took like a little break before I started this video and let that coffee like simmer down a little bit. But anyway, so what they did was they took six of their most popular lipstick shades and they gave them fragrances, y'all. Fragrances, like smell good. I was really shocked because I had no idea that this was coming out. Usually things leak a little bit, but I did not know about this at all until like a couple days before I got mine. Mac, you are clever. So anyway, the fragrances are $57 in the US and they're $67 in Canada. And then they have the lipsticks to go with it. And the lipsticks are $17 like their usual ones in the US and then they're $21 in Canada. The only thing different about the lipsticks is that they're in different packaging to match the fragrances. But I wanted to get you guys a video because I wanted you guys to see it up close and personal, okay? They launch on the 30th, November the 30th online. I'm so hoping I get this video up on the 30th. But they launch on the 30th and they're in stores on December 8th. Now, if you are able to get the PR package, that I do not know because I know there's going to be some questions, but I want to show you guys how they package this because Mac, y'all did that. So they have a little card inside of the package to kind of give you an idea of what the fragrance stands for. And it says Mac Creme de Nude. Free spirited creme de nude is the ultimate laid back goddess. And so this is the card. And then y'all, like they totally did that. I may, I'm gonna have to do close ups. But then they had this in the packaging for the creme de nude. I really don't know what that represents, but I do know that it's nude, right? And so this is the packaging on the creme de nude. I'm gonna do my best to describe the fragrances for you guys because. It's kind of hard. Like I wish technology would allow you to smell this because you know, then I wouldn't have to like try to break it down for you, but we're not there yet. I don't know if we'll ever be, but this is creme de nude. And let me show y'all. Do y'all see how beautiful that is? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give you guys close-ups. I promise. This is one of my favorites. This is creme de nude and it smells sort of like vanilla. I don't really know what I can compare it to, but it has like this vanilla fragrance to it. According to Mac, this is an amber musk scent. And this is the lipstick, you guys. And I think Mac really did their thing. Would y'all look at this? Do y'all see the packaging? Isn't that just the cutest ever? Oh! The next one is Velvet Teddy, and this is the packaging for the lipstick, but you guys, look it. Why are there teddy bears inside of here? How cute is that, right? Like Teddy, Velvet Teddy, and there's a bunch of them. Like, I need to find a place where I can display all these things. Like, I don't even know where to put this, but like, it's definitely a keeper. This is the packaging on Velvet Teddy, you guys. And look at Velvet Teddy. This is gonna be a really good nude. Like, I should've worn that tonight. That's totally, it totally matches my look. But anyway, this is Velvet Teddy. And out of all the fragrances, I have to say that this is the most masculine scent that they have, and just in case, y'all are wondering, this can be a unisex perfume. Max says that this fragrance is wild honey. And just so you guys know, fragrances that I love are like Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue, Hot Couture by Givenchy, Prada Candy. Now, would you guys believe, would y'all believe me if I told you that they have a fragrance called Candy Yum Yum? I was like, Candy Yum Yum! And then they had the nerve to put some candy in there. But this is what Candy Yum Yum looks like. I think that this is the best fragrance in there. Like I would totally rock Candy Yum Yum. And so this is number one. And then number two will be my creme de nude. Like, so yeah, number one. Like matter of fact, let me get a sniff in. Max says that this is a fruity floral gourmand. If that's how you say that. It is pretty floral and it is pretty fruity all in one. 
and I would actually rock it. I'm not really a floral fruit. Bleh, I can't even say that twice, but I'm not really a floral fruity type girl unless I rock like my Bath and Body Works or something like that. But this smells really good, y'all. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It says Candy Yum Yum has a thing for kittens and pink Cadillacs. Get in her way and she's not afraid to show her claws. Velvet Teddy said, Velvet Teddy is on a plane one minute and at a VIP club the next. Up all night dancing. And this one right here, y'all. <laughs> y'all know that lipstick Lady Danger? That's what this is, Lady Danger. Let me do like I did on Snapchat. She's dangerous, hey. <laughs> but isn't that cute? And then they put a little bracelet. I thought it was a choker, but it totally doesn't fit my neck. So it is a bracelet. Isn't that just the cutest ever? And I don't really rock bracelets, but I'm definitely gonna rock this because it's just so cute. Look at that, so cute and edgy. And Lady Danger says, our legendary Diva Red Lady Danger is a live wire risk taker and rebel. Max says that Lady Danger is a Woody Florento. Just in case y'all didn't know, Lady Danger is one of my favorite, favorite shades by MAC because it has like red and orange in it. And I love orange lipstick, uh, like can you tell? Mm -hmm. I love orange lipstick and it has like a hint of red in it too. So if you're not really into oranges, you will love this one because it kind of has red in it. If I can just get it out, I totally have this one. And then also they came out with another color, Dangerous, which is kind of like a dupe for Lady Danger. And it's another one that they have that is similar to this one as well. But Lady Danger, I love Lady Danger. This would be like number three because it's very sexy, but at the same time, it is kind of masculine too, but it's not as masculine as Velvet Teddy. So let me just tell you guys that this stuff definitely lasts. I put it on one night after I got out the shower because like I'm gonna test it out. I just wanna see how it smells like on my body because sometimes things could smell really good in the jar or in the container and then, or in the bottle I should say. And then when you get them on, it just doesn't go with your chemistry or your fragrance kind of changes it a little bit. So I'm like, let me test this out at home before I rock this outside, you know what I mean? So I put it on that night and I kid you not, when I got in the shower that morning, I'm I took off my pajamas and all that kind of stuff, got in the shower and I was still, even as I was starting to wash up, I was still smelling the creme de nude on me. So these fragrances, at least the vanilla one or the creme de nude, definitely last. And the next one right here is Ruby Woo. Y'all know they had to do Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo is a classic red. Everybody has a Ruby Woo. I don't care, even if you're totally not into makeup, you probably own Ruby Woo, huh? You do, you know you do. So anyway, it says, demand attention like our red carpet stunner, Ruby Woo. And that's exactly what it is. It's like a red carpet lipstick. It is, it just is. It's classic, you guys. But look what they put in here, you guys. Like, diamonds on my neck, diamond diamonds on my grill. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's rubies. Oh my gosh, Mac, really? Oh. And let me tell you what Max says. Max says that Ruby Woo is a woody floral. You know what? This one will be number four for me. And the last one is heroin. Y'all know they had to do that. Do y'all remember when heroin first came out and they were like, it's limited edition and then they brought it back again and it was limited edition and then they took it away and then they brought it back as permanent. I think they did it like two times cause everybody was going crazy over it. So they totally had to put it in here. Actually it's my heroin. It says my heroin is intoxicating, hypnotic and beyond mysterious. And they had the nerve to put a pillow in here, okay? I guess that's the intoxicating part. I mean, they got these colors like spot on. Like th this is just, this is just so clever. Now, whoo, this is very strong, but this is another one that has a very, very masculine scent to it. Max says that my heroine is a woody leather. Now that description right there, dead on. Very, very woody, very, very leathery, if that's even a word. It's not, but we're gonna say that. So that is it, you guys. When there are some really, really exciting products coming out, I totally like to come to you guys and share with you guys. Plus the packaging was like second to none. I had to share with my YouTube fam. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Coffin, this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Seeky Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.